All right, so today we're going to be cooking Chinese chicken and cashew. So I'm keen. I'm going to be serving mine with rice. And yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. I'm also very excited for this cooking like tonight right now because we got a new knife block and a new wok today, which I'm obsessed with and I'm going to be using those. So I'm really excited to cook. So anyhow, we'll just get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to be working on is doing the veggies. I love this knife. This feels so cool. This is like massive because I'm not used to using like this type of knife, but. All right, so with the veggies that I'm going to be using and you can totally switch it up for the veggies that you like, but I feel like a good classic is ginger, garlic. Well, that's not really vegetables, is it? But ginger and garlic, um, onion, carrot and celery. I'm just going to be using some capsicum and some zucchini. So now that my plate of veggies is all nice and prepared, so as you can see, like the onions are left kind of chunky, um, ginger are done in thin slithers. I just love eating ginger in slithers. I don't know what it is. Um, what's this called? Celery. I just tried to do it on an angle. I don't know. It just came out weird. Zucchini is quite big slices. It was kind of fat, um, but that's fine. And yeah, capsicums, we just kind of just done a little chunky and the carrot as well on an angle. Um, but cut it any way you like. I do like some chunky veggies in with my stir fry. I, su I suppose it is a stir fry. But I'm gonna set that to the side, get a bowl, and we're gonna start making the sauce. All right, so to start the sauce, we wanted about a quarter of a cup of chicken or vegetable stock. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of water in my bowl. And because I'm using stock powder, so I am gonna do chicken stock, but it's a powder. I'm just gonna do about half a teaspoon. And of course, if you're using liquid stock, then that's fine. You just dip in some liquid stock. Normally, I would use Chinese cooking wine, but I don't have any. I didn't realize I ran out. So I'm just going to use rice wine vinegar, but we want about a tablespoon. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of soy sauce. About one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Whoop. And normally, that's kind of everything I add, but we got some hoisin sauce. Wait. Did I just call this hoisin sauce? This is oyster, and then we got hoisin. I'm confusing myself. Um, but yeah, we got hoisin sauce, which I haven't added before, but I don't know, I like it. So we're just gonna chuck in a tablespoon of that as well. Yum. And corn flour, we want about a teaspoon of corn flour in with our sauce. And about half a teaspoon of white sugar. I'm going to give this all a mix. Um, the corn flour may be kind of lumpy, but if you just keep mixing, it will eventually come out. Like the lumps will come out. So that's our sauce done. We're just going to set this to a side and we'll use it obviously once we need it. And I'm bringing my board and knife back because we're going to prepare the chicken. Realistically, you kind of do want to get the chicken prepared first or if you do choose to do it last. I just like doing it last so I can use the vegetables on the board and then in the knife and then just use it for chicken rather than doing separate and more dishes. Um, but you do want the chicken to sit in with the corn flour when we add that for at least 10 minutes. I'll say 10 to 30 minutes. So if you do do the chicken last, then once that's all prepared, just hold off about 10 minutes before you start cooking. All right, and with our chicken, I'm just going to slice this breast into halves. You might want to do thirds if it's quite a big breast, but this one's overly not, so that's fine. And then with my knife on a slight angle, so rather than cutting like this, I'm going to have my knife on an angle, and I'm just going to cut little slithers, just nice thin slivers of chicken. And you can definitely use chicken thighs as well, but I just got chicken breast. That's just what I'm using. And we're going to be velveting the chicken, um, which I've done in a video last week, I believe, but it was um, beef. But same process if you've seen that, but if not, I'll explain when we get there. But yeah, otherwise just slice the chicken. So now we've got the chicken all prepared and sliced up. I'm going to add maybe about a tablespoon of corn flour or a tad more. And you just want to mix the chicken around. You can use your hands normally a lot, but I just wash my hands. And my hands are kind of sensitive. I think it's like the weather changing and it's cooling down. I'm drying my hands out, so I don't want to try and wash them as much. I'm actually using the spoon. Um, but it would be obviously quicker if you use your hands. But pretty much you just want the corn flour um, to coat the chicken and all the chicken pieces. So... It does get kind of 
stuck together, but that's fine. I'm just going to put a little bit more corn flour in. And the corn flour is just a tenderizer. So with it sitting in the corn flour, it's just going to make the chicken all nice and tender. And also because it's got the corn flour on, it also help thicken our sauce. We did add corn flour into our sauce, um, but this will just help as well. So that's perfectly fine. So now that's all nice and coated. We'll just yeah let this sit for about 10 minutes before we start cooking. And because this is quite a fast pace recipe or method, I got my chicken here off to the side where my wok is. Hello to my new wok. The veggie plate in this bowl, we've got the sauce already here and we're going to be adding cashews in the end. This is 124 grams. It's probably like a tad too much. I'll just say a cup. It's a bit over a cup, but just because I've got them, I'm going to use them all. Um, so yeah, that's going to be open and off to the side as well. Yeah, that's about it. So just make sure you have everything off or next to or near where you're cooking and you'll be all good. All right, so this is kind of a strange setup, but I'm using our wok. I got some oil in and I'm using our portable gas cooker that we normally take out camping just because it's a wok. I feel like having a flame underneath, which I've already set the camera up, so I'm probably whoop, not going to show. Um, yeah. Um, oil as well. Oh, so what am I saying? So yeah, so we got the flame underneath with the wok. I feel like that's kind of more professional <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna weird it's so high up but I'm here for it so oil I turns out we got no olive oil left so we got I just put canola oil in I'm sure that will be fine all right so I'm gonna add my chicken probably in two batches so let's just add some chicken in So now we want to start with the veggies and we want to do the first hard, like the harder veggies. So I'm going to start with onion first. And then after a minute or so, I'll add probably the carrot and the, uh, and the celery and ginger and garlic. And then after a minute or so, I'll add the capsicum and then we'll add the zucchini. So just in small batches and just gradually add the veggies. All right, so then we're going to add the carrot. Now I'll do the celery. I don't like celery overly crunchy. I do prefer that to be soft or more soft. I'll do the ginger and garlic now as well. Can the rest. And now I'm going to return all of the chicken. And now I want to add the sauce. Now we don't need to use all of the sauce. I'm just going to add probably about half of it and see how we go. And if I feel like I need more sauce, I'll add more. But yeah, we'll just see, see how it all goes. So we'll do a bit more sauce. And you can see on the spatula there the kind of consistency, which is beautiful. And our final addition is the cashews. I've changed my mind. I might only use half-ish. I might not use all of them. We'll see how that goes.
and a splash of water just to kind of just stretch this sauce out just a little bit. That's probably too much water. Oopsies. Tell you one thing for sure, my arm is getting tired. But right, this looks fantastic. I'm so keen. So that water was fine. I thought it was about too much at first. I done, I don't know, two, three tablespoons. Um, but no, that's fantastic. So we're gonna turn it off the heat. And yeah, you can see on that spatula the sauce. Well, more so here. Yeah, this looks great. This smells great as well. All right, so that is all plated up. It smells so good. I'm really, really keen. Yes. So my plate. Um, same issue that I've been having at least two bright in here. So I don't know now. It all depends with the sun, but I don't know. We'll just roll with it. So there's my dinner. And of course, we'll try the rice. The rice has been sitting out for a bit. I actually made the rice before I made the like the chicken and cashew part. Mm. I love rice. Alright. Chicken, carrot. That's also thick. That's so good then. Mm. Wow. I gotta say, probably the best one I've made. <laughs> so I got some celery and onion and chicken. Mm. Is it okay? I love the crunch. The celery is a bit crunchy. I mean, the crunch of the other veggies is good, but I do like my celery stuff, but that's alright. Mm. Right. Oh, <laughs> my. I got rice, chicken, cashew, and onion. Yum. Those cashews are so good. It's definitely missing pepper. I still haven't brought pepper. That would be nice, but... And I didn't end up adding any salt, and I honestly feel like it doesn't need salt. It, it's fine without salt. Probably because the soy sauce is salty, but... Mm. I don't know. I dropped my cashew. I love it. So that's all for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. I can feel rice in my teeth. Bye. I just noticed I can see myself. See, right there. Whoop. <laughs> hey.